Do you remember those days when you were in sixth grade getting so excited about going to seventh grade? In sunset, that was junior high. That was moving up. Well, I and my sister Melissa, who was on the Indian placement program, and what that means is uh, way back in those days, a lot of Native American children didn't have access to public schools. And a program that was developed to help these young children have an opportunity to get an education was the Indian placement program. And a child would come and live um, with a family for the school year, going to school, and then as soon as school was out, could go back home. Our family had the great opportunity of having Melissa Snow. And um, I don't care how you say it or what, but Melissa is my sister. And we had some grand times together. The best part was in sixth grade, we also had sixth grade together with Mr. Mayberry. And uh, as the year came to a close, everybody was excited about junior high. We couldn't wait. We had a heads up on everybody. We had an older sister, Mary, who was four years older. She'd been through junior high. She knew everything about Sunset Junior High. So that summer when we got um, our information on what our classes and our schedule would be before school started, Mary took us around and started showing us where our classes would be. We had some classes together, but not all. Uh, the one class that we had together was gym. So when Mary took us to show us the gym, we're all excited. Yeah, we love to run. We love to play basketball. We love all those kind of things. But then she walked by the girl's shower and we're looking at it and like, dang, that is a big room with lots of shower heads, but no individual private compartments. And Mary said, oh no, when you have gym in junior high, everyone showers together. And I said, naked? And she said, yes, naked. I said, I'm not going to do it. She says, you have to. The teacher stands there with the roll to make sure everybody showers every day. You have to do it. Well, Melissa and I look at each other and we're like, no way. Mary said, don't worry. I'll tell you the secret to it. This works. Don't worry. In seventh grade, when everybody has to start doing their gym class and showering, they're all freaked out. Everybody's nervous about it. So don't worry. This is the trick. What you do as soon as the coach blows the whistle and says, hit the showers, you guys just take off running, get to your locker, get your clothes off as fast as you can, grab your towel and hit those showers first because everybody else is going to be standing around, not wanting to do it. They're all nervous. They're all afraid. You can be out of your clothes in the shower shampooed and back out and dried off before they've even left the gym to enter where the lockers and the girls shower room is. So Melissa and I look at each other and we think that's a good plan. Okay, we can do that. We're okay. Yeah, we're sisters. So the first day our gym class was about six period. So it was like the sixth period of the day. And we got into gym and, you know, we're doing our gym thing. We got in our cute little gym suits that they have nasty little things. One piece, what do you call them? Jumpsuits that are short. Anyway, we're playing and you can tell everybody's a little bit nervous. Everybody's like watching the clock. When's it going to be time to do the shower? Well, the coach, she blew her whistle and said, girls, shower now. Well, Melissa and I, that was our clue. We took off running. And I think as soon as we hit that door, we started ripping our clothes off, ripping our shoes off. As soon as we hit our lockers, we just threw all our clothes in there, grabbed the towel. Now, Melissa was a much faster runner than I was. So she was in front of me. She was running. She threw her towel over the handrail. And that's what had happened. I watched Melissa hit that wet, soapy floor from six hours of people showering all day and she just was like body surfing I watched her little cute body just slide through the entire shower she managed to stop and she jumped up 
I tiptoed in. We both did our showering. She was out, had her towel on. I had mine. We ran back to our locker. And no kidding, we'd beaten everybody. Nobody had even left the gym, and we were done. So there's the secret. Seventh period, seventh grade. You run into the gym, you run into the lockers, but like the sign always says, no running. Otherwise, you could be a body surfer in the girls' shower. Good luck on your first day of gym.